Okay, hello anyone watching this right now. Today I'm making a tutorial on HD surround sound render settings I just made about a week ago. I found them to be the highest quality you'll ever see on YouTube. I made it unlisted so no one could see it. It can refurbish old videos or dazzle videos or whatever you can do and make the quality a lot better. So here is an HD PVR clip by Dubsy and um, I uh, added settings with it and just added a couple correction. I'm going to show you the right settings for the clip and everything. So first you're going to go to properties, your video properties you can do this or you can go to file and properties and they'll still bring you to the same page. So once you've done that, the deinterlace method is going to be on none. The Gaussian blur is going to be on astromatic. Um, full resolution rendering quality is going to be on best. And 8-bit um, pixel format. It's a little bit lower, but it'll have the highest quality on YouTube. Um, after you've done that, you can put the frame rate on Dumbbell and TSC. Um, Height and width, copy 1280 by 720. Make sure it's width and height, not height and width for the settings. And then a none for this one also. And then 1000 square. And then on the audio, 5.1 surround sound. Check that and make sure this is checked. And start all with these settings, apply and OK. And then this screen will look different than what it used to if you didn't have it already on surround sound. And then um, when you do that now, what you're going to do on your properties on your clip, you're going to click properties, uncheck maintain aspect ratio, it will be on smart resample and then you want to put it to disable resample. So uncheck maintain aspect ratio and put on disable resample, click OK, then you can crop it in on however far you need to, depending on the clip. Cropping in is just this button, you'll like drag it in or out, make sure these two are put in if you want it to be right, or you could put it to widescreen or whatever. Next for the audio, you're going to click properties, normalize. And then you're gonna lower it by three, just a little, just like a little bit, good enough right there. And also you can add audio effects, like a volume, just to make it sound perfect, but have surround sound speakers. Once you've done that, what you're gonna do is now go to File, Render As, and then uh, you're gonna go to Main Concept, and uh. Go on custom, and then make sure very variable uh, bitrate is on 6,000 for this. But if you're rendering Twitch, they put on 14,000 for both of them also. But if you're not, then put it back to 6,000. And then uh, 59.97 for the frame rate, profile main, and then custom, so it's 1280 by 720. This is MP4 format, so it's going to render in fast and uh, small file size and render really fast. So if you're rendering like real smart motion blur without Twixter, you like doing final touches to a video, you can um, add 6,000, doesn't matter. And then on the audio, you're going to have it just normal, however it was. And then uh, the video rendering quality is on best. And then save the preset, whatever you want it to be. Click OK. And now since you've done that, you can uh, save the, the video and then let it be in HD. But, uh, you don't really need to do that. Um, so that's basically it. And um, also, it helps to add sharpen to an HDPVR clip on zero. It looks like it's nothing, but watch the preview as it changes when you take off sharpen or put it back on. It blurs out just a little bit. So what I did for the blur is just uh, duplicated it and then masked out one spot and blurred it. So it has upper blur, so it looks like Magic Bullet looks. I have Magic Bullet looks in uh, After Effects and Sony Vegas. The Sony Vegas renders a long time, and I don't really like using it. So if you're doing the blur, take off the top one. This doesn't really matter. Now you have a nice little blur you can render out. Make it look really nice. Alright, so this has been Creepy Panda. Please like and favor the video. And subscribe. Peace.